Hey friends, I'm here with one of my heroes um, and a general in this city, Father Richard Coleman. Um, he's been such a blessing to my father's life, to my life. And this year we're coming together on Christmas Eve and he's going to lead us in Holy Communion. It's going to start at 5 p.m., but I'm just so honored, Father Coleman, uh, that you're going to be joining us. Tell us about yourself, your church, and what people can expect on this very special night. Uh, Father's House at St. Michael's is a very unique church. We are a charismatic Anglican church, a group of spirit-filled believers that still believe the Word of God and are practicing the sacraments. And I'll tell you, we feel honored to be with you on Christmas Eve to celebrate the Holy Eucharist here at Abba's House. You know, um, Christmas Eve, we're celebrating the birth of Christ. And He came as that living bread. Just like the nation of Israel needed living bread while they're in the wilderness, the Holy Eucharist becomes bread for our journey. Oh, hallelujah. As we walk through this life, and that's what you're going to receive. And it's God's method of giving us an impartation from the throne of God into our lives through the sacrament of Holy Eucharist. Amen. And the blood, the blood of the new covenant. I'm a right. grace pastor, Father. Yeah, I preach grace and teach grace. Oh, and when we take that blood, uh, we must remember the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And it's going to be a powerful night of unity, us joining together. And uh, God has healed you, has He not? Yes, He has. Tell us about that. Uh, almost exactly a year ago, I was diagnosed with stage four metastatic cancer throughout my body. And um, I asked them what the prognosis was, and I said, we can't pin it down until we do some more work. But he said, you know, in this situation, it could be three months or six months. We just don't know. That was a year ago. I went in last uh, first of August for some follow-up testing. And on my birthday, August 12th, I got the report back, and I read it before the doctors read it to me. And I started reading this. I had tumors throughout my lungs and various parts of my body. And the report said all the tumors in my lungs were gone. Praise God. And uh, my prostate and my uh, uh, bladder were normal. And I'll tell you, this little boy started shouting pretty loud <laughs> and said, thank you, God, for the greatest birthday gift I could ever get. Amen. And I'm, I'm strong today, sir. <laughs> yes, and 77. 77. 77 years young. Listen, I wouldn't miss Christmas Eve at Abba's house. No. I believe you're going to find healing and hope. I know you probably have plans with your family. We start at 5 p.m. sharp. We worship. We celebrate our Savior. Father Coleman's going to lead us in Holy Communion, but we'll have you out before 6 p.m. You'll have plenty of time uh, to celebrate with your family. Listen, we love you. I wouldn't miss this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for the city of Chattanooga to see two different kinds of churches come together, but with the same mission, Amen. to lift up the name above every name, Amen. Jesus Christ. We love you, and we invite you to be with us Christmas Eve, 5 p.m., here at Abba's House in Hickson. Amen.